Hello everyone and welcome back to another video and in today's video we are going to be playing Mining Simulator 2 again. Um, they just recently had an update, well actually not recently, this was kind of a while ago, but I haven't made a video on it yet so I figured I'd make a video. Um, so it says update 1, Crystal Cavern, a new lair, Crystal Egg, Hatch 10 new pets, Infernal Revenant, limited time pet in the shop, Gem Chest, get free gems every 4.5 hours, Gem Enchant, permanently upgrade your stats, Hatch Speed, Pets Equipped, it, and more, um, Fast Hatch, Hatch Eggs even faster, there's a Rare Crate, discover 9 new skins, Laramar, new ore found in the depths of the Crystal Cavern, new tool and backpack, trading coming very soon. I cannot wait for trading. That's going to be one of the best things that this game is going to add. And I'm very, very excited for that. Hopefully they add hat crates as well, like they did in the other one. Um, and like Omega crates, legendary, mythical crates. Can't wait for all that stuff if they add it. Um, but yeah, so let's load into this. Uh, I have been playing for a while and I've definitely gotten a lot more stuff than I did last time so you will probably see how I have a lot more now someone has oh my gosh they have so much billion holy yeah that's them right there yeah they have a lot of pets yeah that's a lot of pets <laughs> anyways we might be able to get all that stuff after I get more Robux because let's just say I'm trying to get some Robux right now or I'm trying to get stuff to get Robux. But anyways, as you can see, some stuff is clearly different about my character. As you can see, I have this lightning hammer. Um, and not only that, but I have these shiny legendary pets and this is the legendary shiny one of the second one here it's this one but shiny so yeah i was grinding overnight and i got that um yeah that person holy how do wow like they barely have any blocks mined that's crazy anyways here are the gem enchants as you can see right here so there's permanent layers, which is very, very good. It's very good. I recommend it's the first thing you buy with gems. I'm not going to lie. Um, cheap rebirths reduces the cost to acquire to rebirth. Um, it goes from like 5, 10, or no, it goes like 5, 15, 25, and then 50. Something like that. I'm not sure. But yeah, that's very, very good. I recommend getting that. Increases value of items you sell by 20% um, once you get to the last one, and that's very good as well. Pet storage um, increased my storage by 300, which is very good. So now I can hold a lot more pets, which is awesome. Um, okay, hold on. And then companionship uh, increases the maximum amount of pets you can equip by 2. I still need to buy it so I can equip another pet, and it's very, very good. It's just very expensive. And then hatch speed, I have it all the way maxed to where it's 25% faster than it normally is. But they did just add another game pass, which is fast hatch that you can buy. Um, and basically, it makes it very fast to open eggs. So I'm kind of curious to see if he has it. He might have it. I don't know. I don't know. But, yeah. So, we'll kind of see what happens from that point out. Um, my index is kind of still the same. I really want to know what the secret is. Uh, I got I, I got everything in here, which is pretty cool. I haven't even purchased a rare crate yet. And I still need to buy some exotic crates. But I'm waiting to... Uh, get enough gems to buy the companionship and get another pet equipped because i think that's way more worth it and yeah i think it's just way better so um 
let's go over some of the new things. Now, rebirths have been reduced. Um, it is cheaper to rebirth now. Um, so yeah, uh, you can do that. And now there's a gem chest at the very bottom layer. Every four and a half hours, you get 175 gems. Unless you have double gems, which then gives you 350 gems. Which is very, very, very good. Um, and to respawn the chest, it's only 29 Robux. You could just buy that a bunch. Like, buy it, um, till you spent like 400 Robux. And you'll have like 6,000 gems from that. It's very, very good. Um, let's see, what else did they add? But yeah, there's a new crate, obviously. Um, which is very cool. It's right here. Um, so there's holographic, which is 0 0.2, which is what that one guy had. Ooh, triangular is pretty cool. So if I were to buy 99, it would be 2,475 gems, which is a lot of gems. That takes a lot of rebirths. Um, I have a lot of billions still left over. Deposit some in there. Um, this is a free pet code. I recommend you use. Uh, I'm not sure what the exact code is. I think it's literally just free pet, but I'm not. I'm not entirely sure. Um, and yeah. So we got a lot of shards now, and we can use that. Top rebirth is crazy. I mean, someone's at six thousand. I just hit a hundred, like I think two days ago, maybe. No, no, no. I hit it yesterday. Wait, I don't know now. I think I, yeah, I think I hit it yesterday. Um, and then total blocks mine. Yeah, I don't even have a billion. I don't know how those people have so much, but we will get on that leaderboard. Trust me, guys. Even if it's just place a hundredth, we will get on that leaderboard. Um, and yeah. So, in the new area, this is what you see. Um, why are these all different? What the heck? What the, I'm pretty sure they're supposed to be 7,000. Yeah, what the heck? Um, so, these are 7,000. As you can see, I can break it decently easy. Um, it's not too, too hard. And there's a couple things. Oh, yeah. Alright, so I want to talk to you guys about um, kind of what you should do with this game. Because a lot of people I notice um, kind of struggle with stuff. It is obviously, you know, partially pay to win. But there is some other stuff that you can do without needing anything else. So, I'm just going to say right now... It's going to be a grinding game. You are going to need to grind. Now, if you're like me, you want to find as many sort of exploits as you can possibly find. So, I'm going to go over a couple of them. So, let's just say you're mining, right? And you want to figure out a way you can mine, but where you can mine to where you don't get kicked out. Because if you have like a piece of tape over your mouse... You're just going to be grinding like this, but then eventually after 20 minutes, you'll get kicked from the game because technically you're not clicking on anything. So, there, I have found a brilliant way you can actually grind without getting kicked after 20 minutes, but you'll just have to reset it after the mine collapses. Um, if you're mining like this and you press escape on your keyboard, like that, it mines for you. As you can see, but if you go over here, it mines that block, that block, that block, and so forth. But if you keep it here, then it stays here. I don't have any auto clicker on or anything. But then what you want to do is you want you want to get to where the settings. You're going to press on settings and shift lock. You're going to have it where it goes on, off, on, off, on, off. So you'll have an auto clicker on this, preferably I would put it at 
um, 500 milliseconds, not like super, super fast. But then you can mine for a very long time without getting kicked. And yeah, I think it's just very, very good. Um, oh yeah, here we go. Crystal stone. We got some right here. This is 10,000. I can almost break it immediately. It takes two hits to break. Uh, it's kind of lagging right now. Okay. But yeah, so that's one exploit that I kind of found that might get patched. The other one is if you need ores or anything like that, you need, if you buy the teleport game pass, which is right here, unlocks a teleportation pad that you can place down anywhere and instantly teleport to. So what you do is you can press shift lock. Well, actually, hold on. Yeah, you zoom out, you press shift lock, and you can look around everywhere. You know, you can see all the mines and stuff. You can just see outside the map because the blocks spawn in front of you. They're not actually loaded in except for the caves. So then you unpress shift lock. And you should have something like this, okay? Um, you grab your teleporter and you place it right there and then teleport and boom. You now are outside of the map and you can see where every single ore is. Like this, like, and you can mine it. See, just like that. And blocks will spawn above it and stuff. But that's just how the game mechanics work. See, like, some chromites, I think that's what you call it. And yeah, you can kind of just go down. It kind of glitches you out a little bit when you fall. But yeah, I mean, you can just get all the ore you need from around the map. And it's, I don't know, it's just very, very well. Like, see how I have 18, 12. Wait, let's get this Laramar. Boom, two Laramar, because I have two times ore on. Or not on, but for my pickaxe I have. Or hammer, whatever. But yeah, so that's that's an exploit that I kind of found off YouTube and stuff. Um, so yeah, that's one of them that I found. Um, let's go to the surface real quick. And let's see here. Um... Yeah, getting the rewards from these eggs are very, very good. I think I talked about that last video, so I'm not going to talk about that again. Um, but yeah, here are all the skins. Uh, pretty... Wait, what? Wait, I didn't know I got this. Wait, when did I get this? That looks really cool. I would have that, but Rainbow Crystals actually has a mining speed ability to it and more backpack equip. Or more backpack storage, but obviously that doesn't matter because I'm max level. Well, I mean, I have infinite backpack. Um, let's see here. Yeah, here are my pets. Once this game does have trading enabled, you guys can join me whenever you want. and Or I'll probably do giveaways. I'll be giving away legendaries that I don't need or like shiny epics like these ones that are maxed out level 20 i'll probably just get a bunch of those and yeah probably stuff similar to that and also i forgot to mention there's this huge rocket over here that will go to other worlds which i think is very very cool here's the thing i feel like there's gonna be a lot more stuff they're adding over here that just hasn't been implemented yet I'm going to see if we can see anything. Um, doesn't look like we can really see anything. But yeah, so... This game is very, 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 very cool. I really like it, and I can't wait for trading, because then the chat log won't be so... I guess, dead. Not that the chat log's really dead. I mean, it kind of is, though. Like, people don't really talk much, and... I don't know. I also, I really like this cube pad. Like, it's basic, but it's a nice basic sort of looking pet. Um. So, as you can see, 
for the gems, it cost 425 Robux. And yeah, um, as you can see, it cost 425 Robux for 2,500 gems. And yeah, here's the Infernal Revenant pet as well. Limited time, one week left for this. So if you're going to buy that, I would buy that right now. But yeah, so that's the update. And I think I'm going to wrap up today's video. Um, make sure you guys play the game because it's really fun. And I, honestly, if you get into it, you will have a very fun time. I can like guarantee that. So um, yeah, that's going to wrap up today's video. And I will see you guys next time. Take care and yeah, goodbye.